From star clusters like you've never seen before, to galaxies so close we could almost touch them, if we could travel a million light years in a blink of an eye, that is. Here are 35 amazing, incredible photos of space. The final frontier. Welcome to the crew, Keenan. For all the others out there watching and enjoying our vids, make sure you're subscribed to our hilarious channel so you can always be informed of the next awesome video. Number 35, Mammoth Stars. The two brightest stars in this image are considered to be of mammoth proportions. Their names are WR25 and TR16244, and they are located in the open cluster Trumpler 16. Scientists say that these stars have adopted a live fast, die young sort of mentality in the fact that they are both such powerful stars that they are burning through their hydrogen fuel sources faster than any other type of stars. Number 34, the Twin Jet Nebula. This insane picture shows a twin jet nebula, and it's a prime example of a bipolar planetary nebula. This is a really new nebula, thought to have been formed about 1200 years ago, which, but by the standards of the rest of the objects floating through space, that's only really half of a blink of an eye. The phenomenon you see here only occurs when, instead of having a single star at the center, the nebula forms around a binary system, creating a bipolar nebula. You have to admit, it's quite beautiful. Number 33, the Veil Nebula. This is a section of the outer shell of a famous supernova remnant. All of the bright rainbow-like colors are probably where we get the color scheme for all of the various galaxy printed items we seem to covet. The remnants of a supernova or a star explosion are absolutely stunning. Number 33, a double cluster. The crazy double cluster of stars you see in this picture may look like a sprawling and well-lit up city from the window of an airplane, but it's actually more than a couple of stars in space. This double cluster is located in one of our neighboring galaxies, the Magellanic Cloud. Number 31, moon transit across the face of Saturn. You can see two moons to the left, the largest moon, Titan at the top right, and another, smaller moon, traveling around towards the right of this enormous gaseous planet. It's strange seeing another planet with so many moons. Number 29, ESO 38112. The hazy aspect of the galaxy pictured here is most likely evidence of this galaxy possibly colliding with something else in its recent past. Now, recent in universe terms is still millions of years, so don't get excited. It was still a really long time ago. Number 28, the Spirograph Nebula. We still don't understand what causes the bright coloring seen in this nebula, but that doesn't stop it from glowing. IC 418 is about 2,000 light years away from Earth in the constellation called Lepus. Number 27, Stevens Quintet. This galaxy gathering's name is actually a misnomer. This part of the universe is supposed to have a group of five galaxies. Although you can count several in this image, the galaxy in the upper left is actually not part of the group. Even though this view makes it seem like it does belong, the galaxy is around seven times closer to our planet than the rest of them, meaning that there are only four galaxies that make up Stevens Quintet. Number 26, the Tarantula Nebula. This stunning nebula may look sort of familiar to others nearby, but this one is home to many extreme conditions. In addition to having remnants of a supernova, the event when a star dies, this nebula also has the heaviest star ever found. We don't really know how NASA went about weighing a star, but since they are the space experts, we'll have to agree. Number 25, Saturn's real colors. Now, we have seen quite a few pictures of Saturn looking all sorts of different colors. However, this image here shows you what the planet really looks like. As you can see, the planet is made up of pastel colors, some so light they could easily be mistaken as white. Have you ever seen the planet look like this? We sure hadn't, at least not before now. Number 24, the Cone Nebula. Although this picture does look like it shows a cosmic worm ready to suck up whole galaxies, the tube shape you see here is just made up of gas and dust. The top portion of the cone, which you can see in this picture, is 2.5 light years long. The entire height is 7 light years long. To sort of give you an example of time, traveling a distance of 2.5 light years would equate to 23 million round trips from the Earth to the Moon. Number 23, Light Echo of V838 Mon. This image shows the dramatic changes in light in these swirling dust clouds. The stars brightened in 2012 and remained bright for several years, illuminating everything around them. This phenomenon is referred to as a light echo, since the light echoes much like sound would. Number 22, Cosmic Dust. Just like you end up with dust bunnies underneath your bed after a long winter, parts of the universe end up with a little dust in their corner. Cosmic Dust. It's strange to see something we consider to be trash or nuisance in an entirely different environment. Number 21, the Orion Nebula. The gaseous cloud you see here is part of the Orion Nebula, where most of the stars are formed. There are more than 3,000 stars in this image, although you can't see them all with a naked eye. Number 20, the Pillars of Creation. This is one of the most well-known photos of space. 
It is said that this picture shows the creation of a star. It is strange and amazing to see the gases just float through space in this image. There's nothing like it. Number 19. A dying star. The butterfly shape seen in this image is of a sun-sized star exploding. The plumes that give the appearance of wings are actually massive gusts of gas that are 200,000 degrees Celsius. The gas you see pictured here is going so fast, it would be the equivalent of us traveling from the Earth to the Moon in just 24 minutes. Number 18. The Sombrero Galaxy You can see just how this galaxy got its name after looking at its shape in this picture. The center of the galaxy shows a single bright light surrounded by many layers of dust lanes. Number 17. Cluster Westerland 2 the picture you see here was Hubble's 25th anniversary image. It shows a compact star cluster in our galaxy, the Milky Way. Its stars are rather young, being about 1 or 2 million years old, but this cluster contains some of the brightest, largest, and hottest stars known to man. Number 16. Comet Shoemaker-Levy This amazing shot was captured back in 1994 when the biggest ever recorded comet smashed into the planet Jupiter. The dark spots are where parts of the comet struck the planet's surface. We wonder if the strike was devastating enough to wipe out life forms just like what happened with our own planet long ago. Number 15. The Calabash Nebula This nebula is also known as the Rotten Egg Nebula because it's made up of sulfur. The denser parts of the nebula are made up of material that is ejected by the star in its center, which is crazy. This image shows that material being shot in two directions at 1 million miles per hour. And that's fast. Number 14. Volcanic Eruption on Jupiter's Moon The small explosion you see on this moon's surface is a volcano erupting on one of Jupiter's moons. This image was taken in 1979 and was an important discovery since it was the first time we had seen a volcano erupt anywhere other than our planet, Earth. Number 13. A Solar Flare The picture you see here looks rather like the sun got the addition of a new ring, much like the ring planets within our solar system. However, the sun has not grown any rings. The loop you see in this image is a solar flare that was captured by a NASA satellite. Number 12. Crushing a Comet This black and white shows the moment that a projectile was purposely smashed into a comet out in space so that scientists could study the material that came off. It's information gathered from experiments like these that are helping scientists be able to prevent a detrimental comet from entering Earth's atmosphere before being able to smash it to smaller pieces so it won't destroy our planet and the life on it. Number 11. Jupiter's Great Storm Did you know that all of the spots and rings around the planet Jupiter are actually storms in the atmosphere? It's really scary to see them all in motion. This picture showcases Jupiter's most famous identifier, the Great Red Spot. As it turns out, this giant red spot is actually an ancient storm that is so big you can fit three whole Earths inside. Just think about seeing a storm so ancient it lasted trillions and trillions of years. We want to know what kind of storm it is. Is it like any weather we experience? Most definitely not. Number 10. A Sunspot A close-up of a sunspot was taken by the New Jersey Institute of Technology's Big Bear Solar Observatory. Who knew the center of the sun was black? It probably isn't. It's probably just so hot at its center that it just appears that way. It's interesting to see that it kind of looks like the center of an eye. Number 9. Earthrise this 1968 snapshot really put into perspective just how small we really are. This is obviously a picture of our wonderful planet taken from the moon's point of view, proving that we are only specks in space. Number 8. Aurora Borealis from Space We all know what the northern lights look like. We've seen Balto. What you might not have seen, however, is this picture here, which gives you a whole new look at these bright lights. This is a shot of the Aurora Borealis as it is seen from space. Number 7. A Splattering of Galaxies The insane image pictured here looks like paint splatter on some awful walls. But it's so much more. This picture shows you the deepest visible light image of our universe. The Hubble telescope captured a photo that shows just how many other galaxies there really are. Each bright light or lighted spot in this picture is an entire galaxy. Number 6. Interacting Galaxies Called ARP273, this picture shows four different galaxies. One of the smaller ones is thought to have actually traveled through one of the large ones. What would happen if we passed through another galaxy? Or one passed through us? It really doesn't sound like anything we want to find out. Number 5. The Helix Nebula Often referred to as the Eye of God, the glowing center in this photo was produced after a star roughly the size of the sun died over the span of a thousand years. Number 4. Galaxy NG3-1275 the red lace-looking materials floating around the galaxy in this photo are actually metal particles that are being suspended in the immense magnetic field surrounding the galaxy. The temperature of the gas in the galaxy is around 55 million degrees Celsius, which is pretty freaking hot! Number 3. A Star-Forming Region 
This region, also known as region NGC 3603, is a capture of a massive collection of young stars in the Milky Way, the galaxy we live in. Scientists believe that the stars you see in this picture were created millions of years ago. Number 2. The Whirlpool Galaxy Although these two pictures side by side either look like twin galaxies or one that caught on fire, they are both the same galaxy. And no, it didn't catch on fire. The galaxy pictured here is called the Whirlpool Galaxy because of the shape it creates. The difference in colors between the two photos is the difference of light exposure when the picture was taken. Number 1. The Bubble Nebula the Bubble Nebula is also referred to as NGC 7635, and it is an emission nebula located over 8,000 light years away. It's pretty clear that this nebula earned its name due to the shape of gases that surround it. It forms what you would call a bubble. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Catch you next time. Bye! Better!